Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question uh, solve session. And question solve is one of the best way to prepare yourself for passing the MRCS exam, getting a good marks. And for any question, first of all, you have to read the question very carefully. Here the question, which of the following statement relating to the basilar artery and its branch is false. So here, so now find out the key point. The key point here is which of the following statement uh, relating uh, to the basilar artery it, and it is branches false. That means first of all we have to find out uh, the basilar artery and the uh, branches of the basilar artery and other information regarding basilar artery and we have to find out the uh, one of the five options which is not true for basilar artery. Here are the options, the superior cerebellar artery may uh, decompress to treat trigeminal neuralgia. Occlusion of the posterior cerebral artery causes contralateral loss of the visual field. The oculopotor nerve lies between the superior cerebellar and posterior cerebral arteries. The posterior inferior cerebral artery, cerebellar artery is the largest of the cerebellar arteries arising from the basilar artery. The labyrinthine branch is accompanied by the facial nerve. So, first of all, let's see the basilar artery. This one picture is enough for basilar artery discussion and it will uh, clear all of concept about the basilar artery so here we can see this is the basilar artery it starts here and ends there so here this is the basilar artery at this point it is formed by the we can see the two artery and this two artery is vertebral artery so basilar artery is formed by union of the two vertebral artery at the medulla oblongata then it ascends upwards and it goes here the pons and when ends of the pons it terminates into the two branches the branches posterior cerebral artery so basilar artery it starts at the medulla by the union of the two vertebral arteries then it ascends and finally it gives two branches divide into two branches that is the posterior cerebral artery in it is pathway it gives some other branches as, as here we can see this is a branch this is posterior inferior cerebral artery or this is pica this is pica that means posterior inferior cerebral artery so posterior inferior cerebellar artery it is a branch of the basilar artery then if we ascend here we can see some of the branches which goes to the pons and it is the pontile branch uh, these smaller branches they are pontile branch so basilar artery gives the pontile branch here we can see another branches that is the labyrinthine artery and the labyrinthine artery it is a branch of the pontile artery and it goes to the middle and inner ear to supply the ear and if we ascend we can see the here another branch present and terminal branch posterior cerebral artery and we can see the posterior cerebral artery here is a nerve very close to posterior cerebral artery that is oculomotor nerve so it, this relation is very very important and some of the mrcs question regarding this relation that is oculomotor nerve uh, it encircles uh, which of the artery that is the posterior cerebral artery so posterior cerebral artery and oculomotor nerve they are very close relation to each other here we can see the superior cerebral artery it also an important branches and here this is the trigeminal nerve root and we can see the trigeminal nerve root it is very close to this superior cerebellar and posterior cerebral arteries so this relation also important that the trigeminal root or trigeminal ganglion is very close to the superior cerebellar arteries and other important uh, relation here we can see that uh, the labyrinthine artery branch of the this basilar artery it accompanies to important nerve uh, that are the 
vestibular cochlear and facial nerve so here are uh, the basal artery in short uh, if we see again here the basal artery formed by two important arteries that is vertebral arteries and terminates into the posterior cerebral artery and the basal artery it uh, gives some other branches such as the posterior inferior cerebellar artery labyrinthine artery superior cerebellar artery pontile at arteries and some smaller branches and there are two important nerve one is the oculomotor nerve that is the third cranial nerve it is related to the posterior cerebral artery on the other hand the trigeminal ganglion which is the fifth cranial nerve which is related to the superior cerebral artery and here we can see this is the hemisection of brain here uh, they're showing the different uh, part of the brain is supplied by diff different arteries uh, the posterior cerebral artery we can see the posterior cerebral artery it supplies the occipital area it supplies the occipital area so if any injury to the posterior cerebral artery occlusion of the posterior uh, cerebral artery or uh, blood uh, flow compromise to the posterior cerebral artery it affects the occipital region and occipital region it is uh, responsible for uh, the vision so if any occlusion or annihilation occur to the posterior cerebral artery we know that the cerebral cortex it controls the opposite side of the body so opposite vision will be lost so this relation is very very important because the posterior cerebral artery it supplies the occipital cortex and occipital cortex uh, supplies the opposite area of the body uh, one of them is the eye or the vision so if occlusion of the posterior cerebral artery occurs the opposite side vision will be lost here is another question i can say this is the basal artery here yeah, its start point uh, basal artery by um, union of the two vertebral artery then it ascends and terminate into to superior to posterior cerebral artery and here we can see this is the two important nerve uh, passing here this is one is the vestibular cochlear nerve that is the cranial nerve number eight on the other hand another nerve that is facial nerve cranial number seven so cranial number seven and cranial number uh, cranial nerve number eight that means the facial nerve and vestibular cochlear nerve they um, accompanied by this important artery and this is the labyrinthine artery so labyrinthine artery it is very close to these uh, two important nerve that is uh, vestibular cochlear nerve and facial nerve and it goes to the middle and inner ear to supplying the content of the middle ear and inner ear and facial nerve it finally um, exits the skull through the stylomastoid foramen and supplies the uh, face area and cervical area so here our final answer uh, that is the posterior into cerebellar artery is the largest branch of the cerebral artery that's not true in this picture we can see the this is the largest that is posterior cerebral artery it supplies the cerebral cortex in the posterior area or occipital area and posterior cerebral artery is the largest branch of the basilar artery so posterior inferior cerebellar artery it is not the largest and some other option we can see here these are the superior cerebellar artery superior cerebellar artery may decompress to treat trigeminal neuralgia it's this relation to we saw that here this is posterior inferior cerebellar artery that is the superior cerebellar artery uh, it may be decompressed during tri uh, trigeminal neuralgia decompression occlusion of the posterior cerebral artery causes contralateral that means opposite side vision loss is true oculomotor nerve lies between superior cerebellar and posterior cerebral artery this relation also be discussed here here this is the nerve this is oculomotor nerve it lies between these two important nerve that is uh, two important arteries that means posterior cerebral artery and superior cerebellar artery and the last one the labyrinthine branch accompanied by facial nerve yes the labyrinthine artery uh, it is accompanied by two important nerve that is facial nerve and the 
vestibulo cochlear nerve so our final answer is uh, posterior inferior cerebellar artery is not the largest so regarding false option this option is false for medullary artery thank you all